Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I hope y'all can hear me because I got the dishwasher going again. What I have here is four um, pork loin steaks that I cut from those big pork loins I showed y'all in another video. I have two ribs of celery. I have one medium onion. I have some garlic. I have garlic powder and I have my usual salt and pepper. I'm heating my pot up now. It's got about three tablespoons of oil in it. So what I'm going to do, bring you a little closer here so you can see me. Sorry about the noise, but I'm going to salt. There we go, I'm going to add some salt. I'm going to sprinkle some pepper. As usual, y'all know, not a lot. Actually, you're probably going to only pepper one side of this. <clears throat> Getting that oil to heat up, so I'm going to hit that fire a little higher. I'm going to add some garlic powder. And the next thing I'm going to add has nothing to do <laughs> really with flavor. I'm going to add some uh, paprika. Now let's see if I can find it up in here. I'm adding this just for color. Just to darken the meat browning. It's a technique used in all restaurants. That's why you see it only it has nothing to do with flavor. Now I'm going to check that oil, make sure my oil is hot. Okay. going to slide y'all over here where the action's going to be. Right there in that pot. Now I'm going to try to jack this up. Let's see. Okay. I'm going to take one of these pork loins. Steaks. Put it in there. The other one. Put this one in the middle here. Kind of more or less. <laughs> and that one. Alright. Put that to the side. Let me throw that plate away. Alright. And I will uh, come back across it with more garlic. Good. Uh, more paprika. Again, to me, it's not a taste factor, it's a color factor I'm looking for. And salt. Don't let that brown up. Put that brown on that side. When it comes time to flip it, I'll bring y'all back. Okay, y'all, it's time to flip. Nice and brown. Believe it or not, that paprika really does make things brown. That's why you see it on all those chickens in the uh, those history chickens in the supermarket. All right. Of course, I got to have the one that wants to act. Anyway, we're going to get that brown. And when that browns, I will uh, bring y'all back. I'm going to have to remove that meat. Okay, y'all, that meat's brown. Here's the bottom. All right, we're going to take that out. And one of the pieces is really thicker than the other of that. I'm going to add, I'm going to add a tad bit more oil. I know that looks like a lot, and it is. I will agree with you, it absolutely is a lot of oil. I'm going to be adding about two tablespoons to start with of flour. All purpose. Always, 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 all purpose. Don't make the mistake I made when I was younger and uh, try and use self-rising flour. That dog don't hunt. All right. I'm 
a tad bit more of that flour when I find it. <laughs> So much moisture in the air, y'all. I'm telling y'all, it's it's ridiculous around here. The humidity, the moisture, whatever you want to call it. And add a little bit more flour. So that'll be this whole thing here. So that's about three tablespoons of uh, flour in that. Add that little scoop. It's a coffee scoop. Whatever comes out of the coffee scoop. It's one of my old timey coffee scoops, like you used to get. All right, now to that I'm going to go on ahead and I'm going to add my celery and onion. It's not normally how you've seen me do it before. There's always new techniques to everything. I'm scared of this pot holder. I've already had one catch on fire. <laughs> so, put that up in there. It's all good. Let me get this out of my way. I need my counter space. Y'all can just watch that happen. It don't burn up. Y'all know I have very limited counter space. All right. Let me get that all up in there. Get it to Marion. Don't worry about that stuff. Don't cake on stuff. It's not hurting anything. Not anything at all. It's not hurting anything. That will come off the bottom in a quick hurry. I'm just trying to wilt these vegetables. I'm not trying to actually like saute them because if I was, it'd be lower, low and slow, and all that good junk. And to prove that point, I'm fixing to add my garlic. There's one. There's two. And it's getting brown on bottom and I don't have it. Okay, as soon as I smell that garlic roasting, we're going to step two, which is which is B. Add this water to it. A little bit in it first. Alright. All that stuff on bottom is gonna come off, y'all. That's thick, I know it's thick, I don't want it that. And look at those pork loins. It'll take a minute for it to hot minute for it to uh, cook anyway. I'm doing that to scrape that stuff off the bottom, but it will come off the bottom. For this process though, with there won't be any of that on the bottom. And the gravy as you see it as I go along will turn darker because of what's on the bottom. That's called fawn, y'all. And as it cooks, it will come off. And the gravy, is, like I said, will get darker. See, it's getting darker right in front of your eyes. So, and I'm splattering all over the stove. No, y'all like that. All right, as soon as I'm finished with this, I'll, that process, I'll bring you back. Okay, I think I've dug all of my get off the bottom. See that on that on that whisk like that? There it goes. And still it's going to come off. I mean, still more is going to come off. That's all I'm going to personally get off of it right now. What I'm going to do is add my uh, pork loins to this. Pork steaks, whatever you want to call it. Pork is pork. I don't care where it comes from. And some people are going to say, oh, no, you're not going to pour that in there. But, oh, yes, I am. <laughs> These juices in this bowl. Yes, Lord, they're going up in that box. A lot of flavor right there. Came out. Okay. We're <laughs> good there. It's getting darker, y'all. I told y'all it would happen. Now I'm gonna add just a little bit more water. I'm actually I'm just gonna add that water there. I'm gonna add about that much water, about another half a cup of water. Because I'm going to cut this down. As soon as I bring it back up to a boil, I'm going to cut it down. And I'm going to leave it alone. And when it cooks down, after it's completely cooked and it's cooked down, I'll taste it then for seasoning. There's no reason to do it right now. So it's up where I want it. 
cutting that down. Y'all can't see that fire, but I mean, it is low, 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 low. And then, I should put on Old Glory here. And I'm going to let it cook. And when it's uh, tender to my liking, I will come back and I'll tell y'all how long it took for that to cook. Okay, y'all, I'm back with the pork loin. I set the timer for an hour, and I basically just let it do its thing. See how that gravy changed? It got darker, because all of that stuff on the bottom came up. I said it would. Now, that orange-looking color in there, that's from that paprika. Now, of course, I've got to find pork. <laughs> there it is, right, just right there, y'all. Pork tender. I mean, just like that, cuts with a fork. And that's how I want my meat done, just like that. One hour, this was done, low and slow, just like that. Mm -hmm. Get off of there. If you come off of there, there we go. It's hot. I know it's hot. Let me uh, focus this out. But no, that's too much. Sorry, went the wrong direction, y'all. But anyway, that's what it looks like when it's done. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Mm. The gravy thickened up. I may I may let it go a little further to thicken a little more, but I doubt it. I'm just it is what it is. That that that's good. The meat tastes good. Taste the gravy. got the perfect salt, pepper, garlic combination. Couldn't ask for better. It's a done deal, y'all. So that's what it looks like when it's cooked. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and by all means, leave a comment. This is nothing edited, and I'm out.